quickly created facebook account without having uh, any profile picture so generally i made such a setting uh, recently people without having profile picture automatically rejected guys so my simple my simple suggestion to you people is if anyone is like that please ping their please ping please ping i am like that in the chat box so that i will see their name explicitly and i will accept the people who recently created facebook account that to without having profile picture uh, mr shake i will i will consider your request because i am getting lot of uh, fake uh, members and promoting lot of uh, bitcoin and other stuff so to avoid that one i have done that setting guys if anyone is like there like that if anyone is there like that okay just send one personal message to uh, to me either through mail or facebook uh, inbox facebook inbox saying that i am so and so this is my batch code this is my batch code batch code means say when i am spring whatever it is then i will consider you and i will accept your request or you can you can keep the message in the chat box itself so that i will remember your name and i will approve your membership yeah what is the especially uh, if you joined 3 uh, months before 2 months before in the facebook such members uh, such membership request will be automatically rejected by my group guys okay so what is the difference between spring and spring boot spring and spring boot this is spring guys this is spring boot sir why are you teaching this after developing first application yeah i am like this only i am teaching this after developing first application so that we can okay guys now let's have a look yeah it is it is called um, java java e framework or application framework application framework okay guys it is called spring boot framework understanding my point it is called spring boot framework are you understanding my point okay it is called it is also called that's better java e framework or application framework so it is it is just called spring boot framework there is no other name guys it is just called spring boot framework next provides 
provides abstraction on java comma jwe technologies java comma jwe technologies and simplifies their application development simplifies their application development b provides abstraction on abstraction means hides the implementations guys okay hides the implementations provides abstraction on spring framework abstraction on spring framework and simplifies simplifies spring application development are you understanding my point yes yeah spring boot is not a module spring boot is a framework srinivas chitti other day i have given statement spring boot is not a module of spring it is a okay approach of methodology of spring application development still i am sticking to the same statement but you can call it as a framework i hope you understood the state difference between that one okay spring boot is not a module is that clear okay srinivas chitti i want reply from you uh it's a framework no doubt in that uh next one guys avoids boiler plate code other day we discuss what is boiler plate code the code that repeats across the multiple parts of project or application either with no changes or with minor changes is called boiler plate code remember that okay avoids boiler plate code boiler plate code related to um, related to java jwe technologies technologies based application development application development understanding my statement guys okay application development okay guys uh, now listen but still continues but still continues some boiler plate code still continues some boiler plate code okay guys uh c avoids <laughs> spring framework related come on guys avoids spring framework related boiler plate code spring framework related boiler plate code are you listening in spring also we are writing some boiler plate code guys that will be removed by spring boot very very interesting guys very very interesting spring provides abstraction on technologies and simplify and avoids technologies related boiler plate code <coughs> <coughs> i think in second uh, second class or third class i have given pure one example plain jdbc example how does it looks spring jdbc example how does it looks and spring boot <laughs> in spring boot database connectivity example how does it looks i have given all the things right okay it avoids boiler plate code using auto configuration 
it avoids boiler plate code through abstraction guys getting my point guys okay b mm. the main feature the main feature of spring framework is the main feature of spring framework is the main feature of spring framework is dependency management dependency management come on guys dependency management that means both dependency injection and dependency lookup dependency lookup at least the people who studied spring basics with me they are aware of what okay at least the people who have taken spring basics with me they are aware of this statement in dependency injection what happens guys underlying ioc container loads both the target and dependent classes creates both the target and dependent class objects and injects a dependent class object to target class object come on in dependency lookup what happens guys target class explicitly writes some code spends some time to search and get dependent class object come on i'll take one real life example to understand it you joined course in naresh it let us assume offline classes the day you paid fee okay the employee of naresh it said this is your course material take it this is your course material take it are you understanding my point okay ah uh, tell me guys student is the target course material is the dependent course material is injected to student the moment he is ready for the course are you understanding my point guys that is dependency injection dependency injection other one is what yeah you joined in the course you joined in the course no material is given the day of joining but later you have gone to office asked for material okay they have uh, then then they have given material to you you requested for material you searched for material then material is collected uh, that time it is called dependency lookup that is called dependency lookup yes the main feature of spring framework is dependency management that means it supports both dependency injection and dependency lookup but mainly we use dependency injection why because everything is taken care by underlying container keeping both the target and dependent class objects assigning dependent class object to target class object is taken care by whom underlying container but it does not mean spring does not support dependency lookup yes spring supports both dependency injection dependency lookup and lookup method injection is extension of dependency lookup only everyone knows that right okay yeah the main feature of the main feature of uh, tell me spring boot framework is spring boot framework is auto configuration auto configuration okay that means giving common things giving common things like common things okay giving common things automatically giving common things automatically yes boss i think everyone agree with me 
main feature of spring boot is auto configuration boss we highlight that like anything fine next one okay guys hmm next one supports xml driven configurations to provide inputs to <laughs> to provide inputs to ioc container to provide inputs or configurations to ioc container okay guys hmm. okay does not support xml driven configurations come on guys does not support xml driven configurations okay spring boot spring boot avoids or minimizes what guys minimizes minimizes spring boot avoids or minimizes xml driven configuration if possible you have to avoid if you cannot avoid at least you have to minimize at least you have to minimize yes uh, we have a client come configuration class now guys so there we can link spring boot configuration by using by using come on guys that means that does not support xml driven configurations directly that's what i am trying to say there is no direct provision to work with this one but indirectly we can work guys by using at the rate import resource annotation what is that at the rate import resource annotation sir when should i bring xml into picture in spring boot guys let us assume for certain feature of spring still annotation is not received but you want to use that feature in spring boot also uh, for example method injection method replacer alia providing alias name for the spring bean providing alias name for the spring beans like this some concepts are there guys uh factory method bean in instantiation got it uh for certain features still annotations are not given for certain feature still annotations are not given yeah if you go for spring boot uh, mvc kind of concept tiles framework while working with the uh, tiles framework uh, tiles concept is there while using those features okay still annotations are not there <laughs> still annotations are not there so in that situation no option we have to think about linking what xml with the spring boot guys using what guys at the rate import resource so that's why spring boot is not against of xml but we try to avoid or minimize xml driven configuration got it or not okay if you want to use if you want to use come on if you want to use certain features certain features of spring for which annotations are not there are not there annotations are not there like method replacer okay alias bean aliasing come on bean aliasing mm, inner beans there is a concept called what guys inner beans okay next tiles <laughs> next is what tiles mm. 
ओके फैक्ट्री मेथड समहो वी कैन मैनेज थ्रू एट द रेट बीन मेथड एस्टरडे आल्सो वी कॉल्ड लोकल डेट टाइम डॉट नाउ सो इनडायरेक्टली आर यूजिंग फैक्ट्री मेथड इनडायरेक्टली आर यूजिंग फैक्ट्री मेथड ओके टाइल्स एंड एक्सेट्रा टाइल्स एंड व्हाट एक्सेट्रा टाइल्स एंड एक्सेट्रा वी नीड टू गो फॉर we need to link what guys we need to link spring bean configuration file nothing but xml file to okay xml file to many features are there bean inheritance collection injection uh, next one uh, collection merging some features are there which are very popular in <laughs> which are very popular in xml level which are very popular in xml level but since day to day xml utilization is reducing guys so those features also gone out okay some are bean inheritance right you are right bean inheritance collection merging collection merging there are so many features guys for which still we have xml support only uh we need to link spring bean configuration file to at the rate spring boot application class using at the rate import resource yeah i'll create that situation and i will show don't worry in future i will create that situation and i will show boss okay boss right right boss yes oh uh, allows to develop allows to develop applications using three configure three up three types of configurations using three types of configurations come on guys are ram narayana does not support xml driven configuration directly you are missing the word directly that's why you are feeling contradictory <laughs> directly you don't read off mr you have to go, go for complete compute complete come on three types of configurations next a xml driven configurations b annotation driven configurations c 100% code driven 100% code driven or java config annotation java config uh, java config approach configurations java config approach configuration these are the three things guys officially part of spring framework okay guys next here f okay guys supports <laughs> okay guys supports mm. uh, supports only only one style what is that only one style only one style of configurations that is uh, through that is through that is through annotations annotations directly giving auto configuration inputs auto configuration inputs through 
inputs through application dot properties application dot properties are yml mm. application dot properties and yml understanding my point there yes okay guys mm. can add xml file can add special configurations using xml file special configuration using xml file are you understanding my point only for special configuration you have to go for xml file using what concept guys at the rate import resource at the rate import resource supports only one style of configuration that is through annotations directly giving auto configuration inputs through application dot properties or yml note what is that can add special configuration using xml file you uh, using xml file what is that here again using not sounding good through at the rate import resource right boss next one okay programmer creates ioc container explicitly programmer creates ioc container explicitly okay except except in spring mvc application except in spring mvc applications are you understanding my statement guys except in spring mvc application boss okay in spring mvc application dispatcher servlet is there as a ready made servlet that will take care but remaining all applications whether it is web application or stand alone application a programmer creates ioc container explicitly are you getting my point there right g programmer does not create ioc container rather he gets it rather he gets it by calling spring application dot run method spring application dot run method according to the application type according to the application type yeah if it is a stand alone application he will get one type of container if it is a web application he will get another type of container he will get another type of container are you listening my statement guys this is also another interesting part guys here we create container here we don't create container we get the container what is this using spring application dot run method spring application dot run method okay next guys h h does not give embedded servers embedded servers so to run run spring based web applications spring based web applications we need to arrange we need to arrange servers explicitly we need to arrange we need to arrange servers explicitly guys come on h gives gives tomcat jetty and etc servers and etc servers as embedded servers guys 
as embedded servers come on guys as embedded servers in Rajesh Magar, based on the application type, it will take care. Okay, as embedded servers hmm. in web application, in web application. Next boss, I want you people to speak this feature until interviewer says, <laughs> until interviewer says enough. Are you listening my statement guys? That's why I'm trying to give up all permutation and combination. You should speak, 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 speak. Interviewer says, ah, enough Rababu. Or you should listen to you interestingly. I want you people to give those many differences. Got the point or not? Okay. It does not give any in-memory databases. What guys? In-memory databases. Hmm. Does not give any in-memory databases. Understanding my point? Okay. I... Manidip, it is for everyone, na? Okay. Gives in-memory database. In-memory database. Come on. Gives in-memory database like H2. Yeah, as of now, it is supporting H2 as the in-memory database software, boss. As of now, it's supporting in-memory database software like using what? H2 boss. Okay. Uh, next one. J. Right, guys. Okay, now listen, listen. Supports loose coupling. Supports loose coupling. Supports good amount of loose coupling. Good amount of loose coupling. Okay, you using Spring Bean configuration file using a spring bean configuration file which is xml file yes what do you mean by loose coupling guys changing from one dependent to another dependent h2 is one h2 is one what h2 is one uh, in memory database software name boss H2 is one in-memory data, like Oracle, MySQL. H2 is also one in-memory database. Are you understanding my point? In-memory means inside the RAM memory only, it will store the data. All tables, everything will be there, but it is only in the RAM memory, not in hard disk. Not in hard disk. Ramanji, as of now, it is having support only for H2 as in-memory database, right? Okay, guys. Uh, now listen. Supports good amount of loose coupling using Spring kind Spring Bean configuration file. Are without touching Java code, we can change from one target to uh, worry, one dependent to another dependent. Come on. Okay. Guys, what's happening, guys? I'm telling hundred times H2 is one in database software name. It is like like Oracle MySQL. It is one database software name. Either listen completely or jump into the dryness, please. After listening entire Ramayana, again people are putting messages. What do you mean by H2, sir? 
what's happening guys are you active in front of systems <laughs> please okay h2 is like it's like it's one database software name okay yeah it's like built in in the spring project itself it's like embedded database software that is technically called in memory because it don't use hard disk memory it will use what memory ram memory to maintain the tables that's the reason it is called as what in memory database software okay if you want you can call embedded i don't have any problem okay in memory okay you want to call it as embedded call it no problem not a issue how we got embedded servers early here we are having embedded database software got the point or not use in memory database software or database like h2 it is like one database software name boss yeah h2 is only for practice purpose h2 is not for real time real time production environment we cannot use this one in production environment guys only for practice suppose we have a system but in that system no server no database is there but still you can develop the web application by using embedded server by using in memory are you getting my point guys okay yeah it's in memory database but still it supports okay tables records everything it supports you get the feeling of what real database software but it is not permanent once application execution is over entire database will be vanished so the tables and records will be vanished it's only for it's only for okay testing purpose only for testing purpose come on we cannot think about using in production environment okay cache is different in memory database is different why cache will have tables mr uh, ragava only for poc project proof of concept projects guys and as usually since h2 is in memory database we cannot think about storing huge amount of data if you store also at the end of the application execution it will be vanished are how embedded server will vanish along at the end of spring boot application execution similarly embedded database are in memory database and its data will be vanished at the end of the spring boot application so that's why it cannot think we cannot think about using in production environment is that clear guys okay uh, this is also only for testing boss only for testing <laughs> in real in in production environment we use real server serious server right in production environment we use serious server real server externally installed server only in the development and testing okay to make the things very fastly we go for it right boss supports good amount of loose coupling using spring bean configuration file support okay yeah changing from changing okay one dependent with another dependent another dependent another dependent for target class what guys for target class for target class without touching the without touching the java source code without touching the java source code okay yogiraz that also happens for you don't worry 
that also happens for you don't worry only the thing is you have to sp spend the time and you have to do hard work everyone please uh, read the complete messages of chat box he is sharing uh, one of our students sharing his friend experience who is also our old student okay please please uh, go through the messages manager has given certificate to that student with the two years knowledge you got more knowledge of what more knowledge compared to what three to four years gap experienced people it's quite possible guys it's quite possible hmm. right everyone come back loose coupling is loose coupling is bit less loose coupling is bit less because all configurations takes place through annotations all configuration takes place through annotations okay which is java code which is java code are you listening my statement boss okay takes place okay takes place through annotation which is java code i hope you are understanding my statement boss right okay because here xml utilization is bit less na boss so that's why loose coupling is there but very less very very less is there so please concentrate on that point boss hmm. next k okay we need to add dependencies dependencies nothing but jar files manually manually and directly we need to add manually and what directly are you getting my point guys okay yes using me when our gradle we can get okay we can get dependent jars okay guys dependent jar files when we add main jar files okay that me uh, that that means still we need to add uh, relevant jar files what guys relevant jar files explicitly here we need to add relevant jar files explicitly come on come on we if you use me when gradle if you add main jar file dependents will come but relevant jar files you have to add manually or not but uh, here what is the story guys spring boot gives starters <laughs> spring boot gives starters okay kind of dependency kind of dependencies only mm. okay which which provides which provides come on tell me main jar files dependent jar files and relevant what guys relevant relevant jar files so it will even take care of giving relevant jar files or not are other day i have spent half an hour time only to explain okay only to explain what is the problem with the technology what is the problem advantage with gradle me when and what is the better pro advantage with what starter support starter support understanding my point okay yes here also we use me when our gradle gradle okay guys mm. to add starters to add starters definitely to add starters here also we take the support of 
L uh, not suitable for suitable for both both new projects pro, pro new projects suitable for new projects development come on relevant surya kumar relevant jar file means if i add spring jdbc starter it will take care of giving hikari cp jars also here hikari cp jar is called relevant jar every day fresh day na surya kumar come on other day we discussed or not spring gives only main and dependent jars if you add spring context support you will get relevant dependent jars but when it comes to when you add spring jdbc starter you will get main jar dependent jar and relevant jar hikari cp jars also right okay relevant jars not does not mean uh, dependent jars okay related to the environment some other concept jars also will come and add spring jdbc starter talks about database connectivity so spring jdbc jars spring jars will come as main and dependent jars but to talk to database software we need a data source we need to establish connection with the database okay for that one we use connection pool hikari cp jars also coming hikari is that hikari cp is not a dependent jar for spring jdbc is a relevant jar come on to complete the task suitable for new projects new projects development and to enhance existing projects to enhance existing projects and to migrate and to migrate to migrate to migrate project from from one version of spring to from one version of spring to spring to another version understanding my point guys another version mr mr aksha akash de certain question should be answered immediately my dear don't think that it is disturbing the flow it is not when you listen those question you also get extra knowledge please certain question should be answered immediately that will also benefit entire class change your attitude of listening got it <laughs> okay some people are th th listening class in a wrong manner okay there should be 10 points i should study 10 points one by one no one no other discussion should happen no certain questions in the chat box should be answered immediately immediately so when you listen answers for those question you will also benefit understanding my statement maximum questions i am trying to maximum questions i am trying to answer through chat box itself but only one to important questions only i am publicly answering why i am answering because they are the different questions so that others also will be benefited so first come out of that thought process you have to change your attitude of listening okay because i said interactive sessions then where is the difference between watching video and uh, attending live class there should be some difference between what watching video and attending live class right so please change your attitude of listening okay boss Hmm. Okay, not suitable for what guys? Not suitable for 
everyone please switch off your videos guys not suitable for okay migration of the projects migration of the projects not suitable for migration migration projects and also not suitable suitable to convert come on to convert not suitable to convert spring projects to spring boot projects spring projects to spring boot projects understanding my statement guys spring projects to spring projects but very much suitable okay very much suitable uh, tell me guys very much suitable for new projects development development from scratch level okay guys from scratch level right boss from scratch level yeah other day we have discussed also spring boot is not for brownfield projects spring boot is for greenfield projects remembered and whereas <laughs> whereas spring is for both brownfield projects and what greenfield projects getting my point guys right m bit lightweight bit lightweight compared to <laughs> compared to spring boot projects compare to spring boot okay because no auto configuration support no auto configuration support understanding my statement guys mm. m bit heavy weight bit heavy weight compare to spring because of auto configuration many because of auto configuration many unnecessary 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 objects will be created objects will be created are yesterday we noticed it was yesterday practically i have shown total five beans four beans are five beans i configured but when i see that bean definition count i got 47 okay remaining 42 came from where guys through auto configuration when when i seriously not added any starters right seriously i have not added any starters only whatever default starters we got we enjoyed only default starters then only 42 objects extra guys think about i have added 10 to 15 starters guys <laughs> think about adding what 10 to 15 starters ah uh, then how many objects will be created 500 600 objects na boss come on in that one how many objects we use max to max 50 objects we use remaining 450 objects are waste objects or not remaining 450 objects are waste objects or not come on <laughs> that's why yesterday wantedly i have taken beans count 
and one tagle have shown been been ids to prove that so many things will through auto configuration and most of them we don't use they will be there for internal support of spring boot environment <coughs> are you getting my point there how much you use explicitly that is a question okay i'll give one small example guys i'll give one small example spring spring iphone boot iphone starter iphone jdbc gives uh gives what is that hikari hikari data source ah uh, next no it it won't affect performance that much guys but bit heavy weight that's what i'm trying to say Mm. Okay, Ravi Kumar. How many objects Spring Boot can hold is no way related to Spring Boot. That depends upon JVM memory size in your RAM. If RAM size is good, JVM memory size also good. That's it. Okay. Right. Yesterday we have yesterday in Palm Dot XML some built-in starters have come. Default starters have come. Got it? we have not added more starters hikari data source guys next jdbc template guys okay named parameter jdbc template next data source transaction manager data source transaction manager comes through auto configuration come on comes through auto configuration are you listening my statement let us assume i am using only jdbc template okay remaining three are wasted or not let us assume i am using only ikari data source remaining three are wasted or not remaining three are wasted or not are you listening my statement guys yes there is a provision i to agree that which classes you don't want to get through auto configuration we can specify explicitly but problem is when you add starters how many of you know which starter gives which class through auto configuration and why people will remember and disable auto configuration on those classes are you listening my statement guys so that's why so that's why this is bit this makes our spring application bit heavy boss no doubt in that bit heavy no doubt in that yes guys right boss next one next one yeah spring framework is suitable suitable for spring framework is suitable for developing <laughs> okay developing stand alone applications okay and small scale small scale and medium scale that means size wise guys small scale medium scale web application development yeah industry as of no preferring to use spring boss come on industry as of no preferring to use spring framework to develop stand alone application and uh, to develop what small scale and medium scale web applications boss small scale and medium scale web application right boss uh, spring boot spring boot is good to develop large scale web applications that means complex web applications guys 
to develop large scale web applications okay large scale web applications next distributed applications distributed application are spring rest is there na bo spring boot rest which simplifies okay distributed application development and and micro service micro service micro service architecture based applications micro service architecture based applications okay now listen carefully i want to develop uh, usmania university.com spring boot a springa spring nf are you listening i want to develop one desktop game spring boot a springa spring is sufficient i want to develop website for college spring boot a springa spring is sufficient are you listening i want to develop e commerce application end to end e commerce application which needs payment online payment also okay then go for what spring boot i want to develop spring based complete distributed application spring based complete distributed application are you listening by my statement boss okay then go for spring boot i don't want to develop multiple modules of spring project part of same project i want to develop every module as a separate project are you getting my point i want to develop every project as a every module as a separate project every module as a separate project later i want to integrate later i want to integrate come on then what is better spring is better spring boot is better spring is not giving any support for micro services and if you try to implement manually also it's very complex it's very very complex boss are you getting my point so there is no proper support there is no support for micro service architecture based application development in spring but in spring boot we have a proper support proper environment to develop micro service architecture based applications guys okay guys micro service micro service this is basic idea boss micro service architecture says micro service architecture says develop develop different modules as different projects different projects and integrate them integrate them integrate them using different third party libraries different third party libraries what's the advantage suppose you developed a payment module as a separate project you developed a payment module as a separate project okay next order module as a separate project inventory module as a separate project are you listening promotions module as a separate project and what is the beauty you know tomorrow some other project needs payment guys separate project na take it and integrate there micro service boss micro service suppose if it is a module of one project utilizing in another project is very difficult process suppose if it is a sub, module itself separate project so now i can take that project i can integrate with any number of places or not are you listening my statement surya narayana micro services are built on the top of web service micro services are built on the top of web service is that clear yeah 
micro service architecture says develop different modules as different projects and integrate them using different third party libraries so since every module is coming as a separate project its reusability is increased come on and uh, its ability to use in different different projects will be increased as i said i developed payment module as a micro service project for flipkart.com later someone liked it guys i can give same project to what amazon people i can give same project to someone else also or not so reusability of utilizing services is definitely increased or not not only that guys because of these third party libraries we have a provision to add load balance load balance clustering come on clustering clustering so many facilities can be added boss messaging clustering caching so many facilities can be added and uh, that's why microservices is picking up day to day guys third party library support on netflix oss okay jules jules server config server so many things are there right boss and spring boot is having great amount support for microservices <laughs> great amount support for microservices and to work with these third party libraries so that's why and uh, someone is asking how microservices is related to spring rest sir spring rest is for web services but microservice environment is an enhancement of web service environment are we are developing every module as a separate project separate project should have a reusability are that is possible only with web service na boss that is possible only with web service right okay now i want to highlight this one as a proper difference guys okay n o no sub no support for micro service architecture micro service architecture base micro service architecture based application development okay supports more exclusively understanding my point guys supports more exclusively more exclusively right guys right boss i think you got enough differences you can give left and right to enter your boss <laughs> yes here is my program okay one minute here is my programmer guys here is my programmer yeah here is my programmer develops what guys software application okay what application so spring boot spring boot application super right okay guys mm. spring boot application mm. listen guys mm. you this uses spring boot framework this uses spring boot framework mm. spring boot framework internally uses spring framework 
internally use a spring framework nice spring framework internally uses lot of java jwe technologies java jwe technologies is that clear guys java jwe technologies and i will write some more things here and etc i will write yeah here what jdbc jndi jms jms and others and many more i will say many more many more Are you getting my point, guys? Yes. Programmer develops. JNDI is there to place objects with global visibility. JNDI is to keep objects with global visibility, guys. Java naming and directory interface. JMS is for messages based communication. Java mail is for mailing services. JTA for a transaction. Sarlet JSP for web application development. Java is full of technologies for different angles. Different technologies are given, boss. Understanding my statement, boss. Okay. Now listen, guys. Web service is there. Web services is given to develop distributed applications. what applications guys distributed applications listen i'm trying to give basic idea about web services and micro services guys to develop distributed applications now listen okay web services can be implemented in two approaches what guys in two approaches can be implemented in two approaches listen carefully number 1 soap based web services soap based web services okay legacy legacy means old and almost outdated almost outdated only in one to maintenance projects it is there guys not in new projects not at all in new projects soap based web service soap is one protocol guys that runs on the top of http okay soap based soap simple object access protocol that is called soap based web services okay now listen carefully jax rpc jax rpc jax ws are the technologies to develop jax rpc jax ws are the technologies to develop come on guys okay to develop soap based web services today you should get clarity was soap based web services yes guys next apache apache cfx uh, axis are the frameworks frameworks to develop same soap based web services services Yeah, there is a small controversy. Jax WS. Some people says it is not a technology; it is a framework. Small controversy is there. Don't worry about it. But I consider it is a technology only. Next, RESTful. RESTful representational state. RE means representational. ST means state. Representational state 
web services rest rest is not a protocol name or uh, this is not a abbreviation as you think representational state web service in shortcut it is called as restful web services okay guys okay popular popular and very running one current currently running one popular in fact hot cake <laughs> in fact what hot cake guys mm. right now listen carefully jax rs jax rs whose nickname is metro is technology what guys is technology to develop is technology to develop uh, what is that restful web service restful web service next guys jersey spring rest are you listening jersey spring rest are the frameworks are the frameworks to develop hmm. are the frameworks to develop come on guys <laughs> restful web services restful web services i think now no confusion boss so basically we use web services to develop the distributed applications what is distributed application also i will give clarity don't worry don't worry uh, next this is uh, this is the concept guys uh, next one micro services micro services are built on the top of restful web service on the top of restful web service to develop different services or modules as different projects different projects different projects okay so here this different project each different each project is called each project is called one microservice is called one microservice and later later these microservices these projects nothing but microservices can be integrated can be integrated for same project for single projects or multiple projects for single project or multiple projects single project or multiple projects i think now it is cluster clear guys <laughs> now it is cluster clear or not i hope you got it so that's the reason first we are learning spring rest before learning microservices is that clear okay so now last statement of today's class guys yes okay using using spring 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 comma spring boot we can develop come on guys we can develop standalone application boss web applications web application distributed applications what guys distributed applications okay distributed application stand alone application web application distributed applications understanding my statement guys okay and etc uh, now listen carefully 
web applications and distributed applications together we call it as enterprise applications understanding my statement enterprise applications uh, tell me here web applications plus distributed applications distributed applications together we call it as what enterprise applications are you listening my statement boss yeah when someone uses the terminology called term someone uses the terminology called enterprise application nothing but they are using what web application and distributed application together come on guys right okay note we can develop <laughs> these enterprise applications these enterprise applications either having regular architecture what architecture regular architecture regular architecture actually for that architecture also some name is there i will give that terminology later regular architecture nothing but nothing but developing different services as as different modules of different modules of come on guys <laughs> different modules of single project different modules of single project okay or we can develop using microservice architecture what architecture guys microservice architecture actually this is called monolithic architecture guys regular architecture this technically called monolithic architecture are you listening monolithic architecture monolithic architecture this is called monolithic architecture or we can develop using what microservices architecture okay nothing but developing developing uh, different services as different projects different services as different project okay guys let us take let us take e commerce application what guys what guys e commerce application <laughs> e commerce application have using this is what is what i will talk more on monolithic i'll talk more on web service later come on monolithic monolithic architecture this is just introduction this is just introduction boss monolithic architecture okay e commerce application yes sales sales module come on guys <laughs> sales module payment module inventory module promotions module like this we are having modules guys what is this sales module next payment module take care of payment related issues guys okay next inventory stock management inventory module next this is what Mm. Okay. Next, next one is what, guys? Ah, uh, what is other one? Promotions. Yeah, promotions, coupons, kind of thing. Are right, discounts, coupons, offers. So much, so much thing will be there or not? I'm talking about that monolithic boss. Okay. Monolithic. I think spell is gone wrong. Let me write properly here. mono 
monolithic architecture uh, now listen guys i am developing same e-commerce application <laughs> same e-commerce application that means project only yes guys uh, here what is the story sales micro service payment micro service separate project guys and inventory micro service and promotions micro service and everything is individual project so that uh, these projects not only in this e-commerce application can be used in what other e-commerce application having more reusability yes guys uh, here what sales cms i'll call it as sales cms okay project pros one yes uh, payment ms micro service pros two uh, next promotions ms promotions ms next oh this word is pros three is missed guys pros three is missed right lastly what is there guys inventory ms inventory ms pros four yeah this is not at all technical launch this is not at all official launch come on guys this is to tell what is what what is what come on yes here what these modules are these modules are these modules are different packages packages of project e-commerce application e-commerce they are just packages modules are just packages you know that right <laughs> so uh, e commerce application so these are tightly coupled with uh, these are tightly coupled with uh, one e commerce application what do you say guys one e commerce application right mm. these micro services are micro services are independent projects are you understanding my point hmm independent project means multiple spring boot projects multiple spring boot applications are you listening independent projects hmm so they can be used they can be used either in one e-commerce application they can be used in either in either in one e-commerce application or in multiple e-commerce application don't apply any technicality just try to understand what is what <laughs> yeah this will be separate spring boot application 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 so they can be used in same e-commerce application okay they can be used yes i think today you got clarity on these terminologies i hope i am succeeded to give non technical overview of non technical overview of non technical overview of come on
Okay, guys. Hmm. Is that clear, guys? Yes, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sai Sai Fanendra. Yes, your analyzation is right. Okay, guys, this analyzation is right. Okay. Fine. Yes, yeah, Sandhya, once registrations are completed in the middle of the batch, videos will be shared. You are asking daily and daily I am giving same answer. Rajkumar, next Saturday, Sunday, we are having log 4 j and SLF 4 j session. Next Saturday, Sunday, we are having log 4 j and SL 4 j application. Abhishek Singh, Abhishek Singh, the difference between standalone application and distributed application. Standalone application is specific to one computer. Distributed application can have both local and remote clients. Okay, guys. And using softwares, applications will be created, boss. Using software, applications will be created. Okay, guys. Achha, one more success story, guys. Kasi. Kasi has got success. Right. Thank you. Everyone, please look at the chat box. Yeah, now listen, listen. Important announcement, important announcement. Okay, tomorrow we don't have class. Next class will be on Monday. Tomorrow we don't have class. Next class will be on Monday. Is that clear? I hope everyone heard this statement. Raghavendra, most of the design patterns are same in Spring and Spring Boot, but Spring Boot is having its own design patterns. Spring Boot is having its own design patterns. Right. Nalikanta, if you become a member of my Facebook group, you will get the notes. Okay. Bindu Sagar Reddy, Spring Rest videos cannot be shared. That is not part of our policy. You have to attend live classes. And spring rest is part of our course. Spring rest is part of our course. You have to attend live classes. Okay, boss. Yeah, to keep gap as experience, nothing is there. In resume preparation and interview tips. In resume preparation, in resume preparation, okay, guys. Next Saturday, Sunday, nine o'clock, we have a log four J and SLF four J session, boss. Okay, log four J and SLS four J session. Next Saturday, Sunday, nine o'clock. Tomorrow, no. Okay, Mr. Raz. Transitive dependency means only dependent jars will come. Relative dependency means dependent jar and relevant jars also will come. Both are different. Lock 4 j link still not created. Next week it will be shared. Next week it will be shared. Okay, Lock 4 j and SLF 4 j only for those students who are attending classes, who are part of any course. Okay, guys. Pavan Kumar, 
Spring Boot support 100% annotation based coding. But if needed, in exceptional case, we can integrate with XML. Ashish. Ashish. Okay. Yeah, if you create a new Facebook ID, let me know. Pingo, please write one message in the match, uh, inbox of Facebook. Okay, then I will take it. Otherwise, my application automatically rejects uh, who is having newly created Facebook. Charan K, I am not leaving. I am not removing any students from Facebook group unless until unless until if they do some bad promotions. Okay. Divya, minimum 1.8 version is required to work with Spring Boot. Okay, guys. Tomorrow, first Saturday, that's why class is not there. Next week onward, Saturday class also will be there. Next Saturday also, class Saturday class will be there. Okay. Srikant, please talk to admin. Okay, guys. Hibernate is required or not? If without Hibernate, you cannot learn Spring Data JPA. Without Hibernate, you cannot learn Spring Data JPA. Yes, mean and keep the good habit of writing entire entire question in a single time. If you write uh, timing and duration, I cannot answer your question. Tomorrow, no class. Next class will be on Monday. Next class will be Monday. Okay, Saturday, three, three and a half hours. Sunday, three, three and a half hours. You prepare yourself. Okay. What kind of design patterns are there in Spring Boot? Same JWE patterns will be there. Uh, apart from that, solid principles will be extra. Funny, today onwards, you can join in my Hibernet class. No problem. You can join. You can join. JPQL will be covered in Hibernet course and Spring Boot Data JPA course. But to attend Spring Boot Data JPA, Hibernet is required. Log4j meeting ID will be shared next week. Srikan, with this knowledge, you can show four to five years of experience. Yes, I am considering time zones, but we have to think about my slots availability also. Okay, can we get design pattern videos? I don't think so. We, Naresh IT is against of selling videos, boss. We don't encourage that. We encourage only live classes. Okay, but anyhow, talk to admin. Admin may help you. Because either they have recorded or not, I really don't know. Thank you, guys. We'll meet on Monday. We'll meet on Monday. Come on. Sirisha. If you are showing experience, you cannot keep only core Java, advanced Java projects. Spring and Spring Boot projects are required. Okay. Soundarya, tomorrow no class and you are asking old link. What's happening, madam? Be in the classroom. Ashishod Prasad, Asos Prasad, when I launch Spring MVC module, I will talk what is difference between web application and distributed application. Don't worry. Shatish Kumar, in Naresh IT YouTube channel, nearly 5-6 faculties have kept Java 8 features videos. Okay, please go and watch. Not one faculty, including Harkishna sir, 5-6 faculties have kept Java 8 features videos. Just watch and enjoy. Don't do any payment for Java 8 features. Recently, I found people are giving payment for Java 8 features also. Not required. In YouTube, so many videos are there. Okay, guys. Hemanta, we are going to learn Spring REST. Spring REST we are learning means we are learning web service. After that only, I am going to teach web services. Definitely, you can enjoy. Okay, guys. Sham, we will be developing multiple projects on different domains, boss. Okay, Ashish, all videos of Java ad features are provided by Arikishna Sar and other core Java faculties. You can happily enjoy. Okay, if you want, I will share the link also. Don't worry. This is the link.
this is the link for java 8 features thank you guys we'll meet on monday if i miss any one question please mail me my group name itself my email id in gmail my group name itself my email id boss